What's up, beautiful people? It's Courtney, welcome back. Today, I'm going to be doing some dollar store DIYs. I have some really cute ones for you, and the Dollar Tree also had some like of their own DIY kits, and one of them caught my eye. So I'm gonna be testing that out for you guys as well and seeing how it is. And as always, before we jump into it, we have our notification squad of the video. If you wanna be featured in my next video, leave a comment this time down below saying what DIYs you would like to see next. It's not gonna be a notification squad like shout out like this one. So let me know in a comment down below like what type of DIYs or video you would like to see. And I will be featuring those comments in my next video. And then don't forget to click that subscribe button notification bell follow me on Instagram Twitter Facebook blah, 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 blah. I'm just kidding that gets so annoying but if you would like to all my info is down in the description box I really hope you guys enjoyed this video I'm getting back into the swing of things filming again since being back from my honeymoon I'm about to film a story time right now for my patreon so I've been posting on there and now that I'm back I'm really like ramping that up with tons of posts, blog posts, pictures, videos, all that stuff. So if you're interested, definitely make sure to check out my Patreon since YouTube has been being quite the you know what lately. <laughs> YouTube's just been very difficult, let's be real guys. Um, so anyways, let's go ahead and jump into this video. For this first DIY, I'm going to be making my own terrarium, which I think are so cute. So I'm going to start off with some cactus potting mix that I already had and putting it into this little glass bowl that I got from the Dollar Tree. And I'm also putting in some fake moss that's also from the Dollar Tree, but if you want to use the real thing, go ahead, it'll be even better. And then what I'm going to do is I have a ton of succulents out on my patio, so I'm going to take one of my favorite ones that I think will look really cute in this and then go ahead and very gently plant it into my little bowl bowl here and then uh, just kind of pack around it just kind of get it in there nice and gently and kind of arrange it and then I'm gonna go ahead and put in these white rocks that I also got from the Dollar Tree they have a ton of different like rocks and different sizes and colors so you could really customize this however you like and then I'm just cleaning up the bowl with a wet paper towel just kind of getting off all the extra dirt that got on the sides and making it all nice and pretty and now I have a really cute living little desk ornament which I think is adorable. I'm obsessed. For this next DIY, all you're going to need is some clothespins. And what we're going to do is start by taking them apart. And what we're going to do with this is make like a pots and pan trivet for like when your pans are hot and something to set it on. So all you have to do is kind of twist these clothespins and then the metal part will come right off. And then once you do that for all of them, you could start arranging them in whatever design you like. So this is just what I'm doing. But of course, there are so many ways you could arrange these. So you just kind of want to lay it out and then glue it together with a very strong glue. Uh, so I just took it one at a time. I glued the two pieces together, all together first in pairs. And then once all the pairs were put together, I went through and actually glued the pairs together, if that makes sense, and just kind of went around in a circle. And yeah, just kept gluing as I went. So Now, once it's completely set and dry, you could go in and you could stain it or you could paint it or you could just leave it how it is. I think it looks really cute just with no paint or anything. I decided to paint it like a gray color to match all the stuff in my kitchen, but you just want to paint it, get in all the little nook and crannies and then let it dry again. And then you are good to go. You have a trivet for your hot pots and pans. Okay, so this next DIY is actually a DIY kit that was already at the Dollar Tree. I thought it looked kind of cool, not gonna lie. It's like to make your own crystals, you're just supposed to put these little things that kind of feel like jello into a glass of water and they're supposed to grow into crystals. So I was like, okay, that looks kind of cool. So it said you can mix the colors together. Now here is my mistake. Uh, I wish I would have stacked the crystals a little more together. Now you can dry these out when you're done and reuse them multiple times. They kind of remind me of Orbeez. But within five minutes or so, they turn into these really cool crystals. Um, and as you can see, they're small except for the ones that were already stuck together. So I think they're really fun. They remind me so much of Orbeez. And if you dry them out, you could reuse them over and over again and play around with them. In love, in love. 
this next DIY, all you're gonna need is a Tupperware of water and a bunch of pretty nail polish colors that you think go well together. And of course you can get those from the Dollar Tree. I just decided to use ones I already had. Now distilled water works best for this, but you could also use just like regular filtered water and it still gets the job done. So I'm just pouring in a few drops of each color and kind of let it spiral around each other. Uh, the distilled water makes it spread a lot easier, but this is just filtered water from my little pure filter, so I still think it works really well. And then I'm just stirring it together very softly with like a little stick and just getting it a cool marble effect. And then I'm taking this coffee mug that I got from the Dollar Tree and then you just want to set it in there. You don't want to move it around, you just kind of want to set and pull it out and then you're left with a really cool marble effect. So just let it dry and then once it's completely dry, you have a really cool like customized marble mug that you could do any color you want. For this last DIY, I got this little gift box because I liked the shape of it and I'm going to be using it as a stencil, but you can also just like draw your own stencil and I got some modeling clay. So we're going to make a little jewelry dish and you could also customize this whatever color you want. Of course, I like to stick with the neutrals, but I'm just rolling out the clay with a little rolling pin and then once it's completely rolled out, I'm just going to use an X-Acto knife and that little gift box to kind of make this hexagon shape. So I'm just cutting it out and trimming the edges and then once I take off the little mold then I'm just going to just clean up the edges like so. You want to get it as neat as possible and then what I'm going to do is take a bowl that is oven safe and go ahead and lay this over the bottom of it so it's going to make a little dip and that is going to be like the base of our bowl. So I'm going to bake it in the oven and once it's totally baked then I'm just going to paint it and I thought it'd be cute to do like a little gold design so I'm using tape to kind of tape off the section that I want to paint that way the lines will be a little sharper and then I had to do like three coats of this paint so I just let it dry in between and it was a pretty like gold metallic color so I did three coats and then once it was like completely dry I just went ahead and took off the tape and it was like not perfect where the little indent was so I went in and cleaned it up but then you have a cute little ring bowl a jewelry dish whatever you want to call it and you could do so many designs with this I think it's so cute Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a comment down below. I'm going to be responding to all of you guys. And if you missed my last videos, make sure to click it up over here. Or if you want to check out my vlog, you could click over here. As always, if you want to see more exclusive content and giveaways, make sure to check out my Patreon right here. And don't forget to click that subscribe button. I will see you guys next time. Hope you all have an amazing day. Bye.